Okay, here I am inside of Blender 2.63. We're going to create uh, a title that uh, will have a green background that we can later chroma key out and add any kind of a special effect that we'd like. So this is going to be kind of a green screen project here in Blender. All right, so I've got my uh, cube and my default project. I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to delete my cube first of all. All right, uh, this is my first Blender lesson of the year, so I'm going to cover some basic reminders. We've got our 3D cursor here, and it's uh, red and white. If I hit N, it's in November, N, on the keyboard, you can see I've got all this information about uh, what it is that's selected and what's kind of going on with the interface here. And you can see the 3D cursor is at location 0, 0, 0. So if you ever lose the cursor or it's you, know, you need to be able to manipulate it, it's really easy to reset its location to the exact center of your project by hitting N and then setting the 3D cursor location to 0, 0, 0. That'll knock it right back to the center there. So I'm going to hit N to close that. And I'm going to add a plane here in the center of my project. So I'm going to choose Add Mesh and then Plane. And I'm going to hit S as in Sierra to scale this. I'm just going to drag it out and make it nice and big. Um, okay, so let's color this plane first because this is going to be our green background. All right, uh, so I'm going to choose my materials. And, you know, okay, you'll notice that in my room you can take the side panel and you can drag it back and forth. All right, so I've clicked this circle here. All right, our materials um, interface. And I'm going to click the plus sign, add a new material. Okay, and then I'm going to click the button that says new to create a new material. All right, and you know, this is going to be a green background, so the thing to do is just to type it in. I'm going to put zero for R, which stands for red, and put zero for blue, and then green, I'm going to put one. Okay, and that's going to give us a nice solid green background. Once again, by clicking on this, you can see my numbers set to green. All right, and we're going to want one more uh, property on the, the material for this background. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click the button here that says Shadeless because we don't want our object shading the background. Uh, we want it to remain nice and green so that we can chroma key it out later. Simple enough. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit period on the number pad to the right of the keyboard, the number pad. It's kind of important to make the, dis the distinction here between the number pad and the number row. The number row on the top of the keyboard selects different layers, all right? And people, I, I get a lot of comments, people will say, my project disappeared when I hit the number three. Well, I'll, I'll do that right now. I'll hit the number row just as an example. And you can see that down here at the bottom, the third box is now highlighted. That's the third layer in the project. If I hit the number one on the number row again, it's going to take me back to my first layer. All right, and that's not what we want right now. Okay, so we'll be using the number pad on the right of the keyboard. Um, okay, so I'm going to hit the period on the number pad, and I'm going to center my project on the plane. Okay, and then I'm going to hit three on the number pad, and that's going to take me to a side view of my plane. Uh, we're going to rotate this around the x axis. Okay, so I'm going to hit R to rotate, and then X, all right? What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to rotate this perfectly along the X axis. And I'm going to take it up about, you know, a little bit less than 45 degrees, I guess, just like that, all right? And if I hit period, again, you can see I'm centered on it. I'm going to rotate around it. You can see that our project now looks like this. Now, just to give you a heads up on where we're headed, and then I'll conclude this first part, uh, we're going to add some text along the center. We're going to have some particle emitters along the top. The particles are going to slide down along this plane and kind of interact with our text. All right, so the first uh, couple of steps, steps excuse me, is just to get um, your plane set up at a slant like that and colored green. If you have that set up, it is time to move on to part two.